What's going on everyone? Darkside Phil here with another surprise vlog that honestly I wasn't planning on making today. It just seems that recently there's been a lot of stuff going on in the realm of gaming news that I felt like I should address and talk a little bit about, so here we go yet again. For those of you who aren't aware, because this is fresh news, just in the past 24 hours this has happened, uh, Sony's enter excuse me, Sony Computer Entertainment's uh, CEO came out on PlayStation Blog and made a blog post formally announcing that The Last Guardian has again been delayed. Now, first of all, let's get the information out there. The delay is from original release date, which was going to be the final week of October. It was supposed to be October, uh, I think, 25th. So it was actually a day when there was going to be a lot of other stuff going on. The previous Friday, there was going to be Battlefield 1. On that very same day, there was going to be Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Later in the week, Titanfall 2. In Japan, there were other releases that were kind of going to conflict with the game as well, such as Persona 5 and other stuff that were coming out around that time frame. So honestly, it wasn't necessarily a great release date for The Last Guardian to begin with. The game has now been delayed till the very first week of December, December 6th, which is, uh-oh, a hot release day because in the United States, at least, we've got South Park, The Fractured But Whole, we've got Dead Rising 4, in, uh, also there's the uh, delayed release of Final Fantasy 15, which is now only going to come out the week before The Last Guardian, and I believe also in Japan there's one or two other releases around that time frame as well. So we're talking about a little bit over a month's delay. Is this... A huge oh my god issue no a month delay is a month delay it's not like oh god it's back to being indefinitely on the table again but when you're talking in regards to the last guardian that's when you guys kind of say uh oh what's going on here uh is this a bad sign allow me to explain for those of you who don't know all right the last guardian is a game from the creators of Ico and Shadows of the Colossus, two great games in their own rights. I actually did a playthrough of the HD upgrade of Shadows of the Colossus a few years ago on DSP Gaming if you want to check it out. I actually really loved the game. It's more artistic than anything else, but it has unique gameplay elements. I mean, talk about a game that totally breaks the mold and does something a lot differently than other games of the time, right? I heard a lot of great things about Ico as well, that it was kind of the same kind of deal. And so when, you know, The Last Guardian was announced... Almost 10 years ago, I think we were all excited. They did this big presentation at E3 showing this small child and this big uh, griffin, almost, like, creature who it normally would be afraid of. It's like a monster in a game, right? But in this case, it does, like, cooperative stuff with the child, and the child goes through this 3D world of platforming, and there might be combat and stuff, too, depending on what happens cooperatively with this uh, creature. And so it seems like a very interesting premise. Now... Almost 10 years ago, this game was shown off, and they were basically pushing this game as a reason to buy the PlayStation 3. Like, they were like, this is the capability of what the PlayStation 3 could do with its graphical engines. Look at how amazing this game is at this time. You're going to want to buy a PS3. And I actually know for a fact there are people who, at that time, seeing the demo of this game at E3, ran out and bought a PS3, thinking, I gotta get a PlayStation 3 if this is the kind of game that's gonna be on it, and look at the gra I can't wait to play The Last Guardian. And then we waited, and waited, and waited, and people just kept asking Sony, what's going on with this game? Is it still coming out? And Sony would always say, oh yes, it's still coming out, don't worry, there's no problems, there's no massive, you know, issue, we're just developing it, we're taking our time, <clears throat> this game's gonna do a good job, and all of that. But then it, the question is, like, how long are you going to wait for this game, right? And after a while, news about the game just stopped coming out. It wasn't like it wasn't like Sony said it was canceled, but we just never got any more information about the game. We got no new pictures, no new footage, nothing. And it was kind of almost a running joke. People you know, started making references to games like Dai Katana or Duke Nukem 3D or Aliens Colonial Marines, all games where they kind of went into development hell for various different reasons. And then when they finally came out, they were all terrible games, even though they had insanely long development time. And everyone was worried, is The Last Guardian going to suffer from this kind of fate as those other games because it's now been how long, right? So then I believe it was actually around 2012 when rumor has it behind the scenes that Sony closed the studio that was working on the game and all the staff went on to work on other projects. So for all intents and purposes, even though the game never officially got canceled, everyone kind of wrote it off. And then all of a sudden... All of a sudden, two E3s ago, we got word from Sony the game was still in development and was actually going to come out. And everyone's like, 
what the hell? Like, this is completely blindsiding us because we expected this to be a game that was going to really push the technology and almost sell PlayStation 3s. That's how it was pushed years and years ago. And now, all of a sudden, it's coming out of nowhere saying, oh, by the way, it's still coming out. And it led everyone to scratch their heads. Now, of course, more info came out over the past couple of years. It's now going to be a PlayStation 4 game as opposed to PS3. And a lot of, apparently, a lot of the gameplay elements from the original game have been retained for this one. Although this, for all intents and purposes, supposedly is a new game. It's not the original game that was being designed about 10 years ago. Whew. So, it's been through the ringer, okay? And then this E3... They finally announced a release date for the darn thing, saying that it was going to be October 25th. Now, i got to ask you a question. I just want you, hypothetical, put yourself into the, the, the shoes of game developers, all right? You're working on a game that has been developed for almost a decade, okay? You know that there's hot anticipation for this game because it was a game that was supposed to sell a console that's obsolete at this point. You know that people are going to eagerly anticipating be, seeing this game and you know that you need to deliver something quality. Because if you have a game that's 10 years in development and it's a piece of crap, you're going to look terrible, right? Not only the dev team on this game, but also Sony will look terrible if that's ended up what happens up happening. Because Sony was the one who kept trying to stringing us along over the years saying it wasn't canceled, it's still going to come out, right? So if you're going to do this, you're focusing in, you have to make a great game. You know you're under pressure. Why wouldn't you give a release date that 100% guarantees your game will release on that date you know what i mean it wasn't like i made a joke on twitter this morning i said well it's a good thing that you know the last guardian finally got delayed again until december because lord knows that it hasn't had enough development time yet and definitely needs a little bit more time in the cooker right i mean that's the running joke is the game has had 10 fucking years and they didn't know that it didn't it wasn't going to be ready that you had to leave them more time all right and then there's the issue that they're only really delaying the release of the game by about a month, a tiny bit over a month, a month and a week. So, okay, 40 days, let's say, estimated. What can you realistically do to improve a game or fix it in 40 days? And it was funny because this, this blog post from Sony's, uh, you know, CEO this morning was very ambiguous. Oh, it's to ensure that it's the best, you know, polished experience for the gamers. And it's like, you had 10 years, bro. 10 years to get this game working and this is like no, there's no excuse at this point for an additional delay. What that tells me is that the people who are working on the game sadly are inept. Because if they knew what they were doing, after 10 fucking years, they could say, okay, I know the game will finally be ready on this day. Not, oh, I know. And then all of a sudden they're finding all these problems and the game isn't performing well. And that's what the question has to be. What would, would create a 40-day release window delay for a game like The Last Guardian after all these years of delay? You know, what could it be? Could it just be that it really is running at a lower frame rate than they like and they want to tweak it so at least it runs at a solid frame rate on the PS4? Is it that maybe they were ready to go gold? per se, put it on discs, and then all of a sudden they found this game-crippling bug that, oh my god, this could completely destroy the game and we have to fix this right now. I don't know what it could be. This is, uh, it really harkens to the recent delay of Final Fantasy XV, where the game's been in development for a bajillion years, and all of a sudden, here we are, you know, a month and a half to game time, and they delayed it several months. And it's like, how do you catch this shit last minute? It doesn't even make sense. It just blows my mind, like, how? <laughs> Woo! 10 years and it's not enough for us to know that this game's not ready yet. Like, then don't promise a release date. I think we were all actually happy just to know that The Last Guardian was going to be coming out. And we didn't need to have a promised release date for October. Why don't you say, okay, it's coming out holiday 2016. And then we, okay, whatever. And then when you're ready, you can release the solid, announce the solid release date. Now, here's the other thing. And this remains to be seen, but it needs to be discussed. You're delaying the game from late October to early December, all right? Now, I'm going to give you some perspective here. In late October, I've already described the games around its release in America, and, you know, the, the West, I'd say the Western world outside of Japan, you've got, you know, Battlefield 1, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Titanfall 2. Now, those games aren't necessarily exact games that are going to compete with that audience, but they are still high-profile games. For PC users, you got Civ 6. That's a big PC game that's going to be coming out. Um... So you would have had some competition in late October. But would any of those games, like, directly have said, I have to buy this game over The Last Guardian? No, because none of those games are really, like, platformers. None of those games have anything to kind of do with this style of game. All right. Now you're delaying this game <clears throat> until early December. And I hate to say it, but 
Final Fantasy 15 is going to have that big kind of, you know, Japanese culture centric style audience. People who are into that style of game are going to be buying Final Fantasy 15. I would almost think The Last Guardian might have a lot of that similar customer base. When you compare that with the other games coming out on December 6th, South Park, The Fractured Bahal, and eh, that's probably more for Western audiences. I think pe more people who are going to buy Final Fantasy 15 and The Last Guardian are going to buy those games over South Park regardless. And Dead Rising 4, I'd say, is a completely different style of game, and I really don't think that would cut into its market. But what you really have to factor in now is everyone's dollar. Because this is stacking up to be one of the busiest hardcore gaming seasons in recent memory. I'm just going to give you a summary of the games that I'm personally planning on checking out. And a few that I'm skipping, alright? Just in the month of October, you've got Mafia 3, Gears of War 4, WWE 2K17, the PlayStation VR is launching. You've got games like I already mentioned, Battlefield, Civ, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and Titanfall 2. In early November, you've got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Dishonored 2, Watch Dogs 2, Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I apologize because there's one other game that's written on my calendar and I can't see it from here, okay? Oh, I remember, it's the launch of the NES Classic, how they're going to be launching that retro console that you can play NES games in high definition on your television. That's coming out around that same time. And Final Fantasy 15, with all those games competing for your dollar, right? It actually makes sense for you to release your game earlier because then it's out there. Oh, you're tempted. I'm so tempted to buy that game. You know, it's already out. I, the other games are coming out, but I have to wait for them. I could just spend my money now and get a great game. You might buy the game first because it's out first, okay? Delaying this game until December may hugely affect its sales in various markets. Or, on the flip side, let me rephrase that. There may have been people who were interested in this game over the years... And wrote it off completely when they heard that it was kind of getting cancelled. And got excited again, okay, when they heard it was coming out again. But now you're putting it amidst the end of the busiest gaming season. And for a lot of people, this may just end up being the game they buy after Christmas. Or this may end up being the game that maybe they buy in January, February. Uh, because there's too much else going on. Or, even further to the point of the game being delayed... This will cause people to lose confidence. Because let's face it, how much confidence can you have in a game that was supposed to come out six years ago, six plus years ago, on a previous console, now is going to a new console, gets delayed last minute? I mean, obviously there's something wrong here. So consumer confidence in The Last Guardian is going to dip because people are going to say, now I don't even know to trust if I should spend my money. Why should I spend 60 bucks on The Last Guardian when we've got all these other games coming out that weren't delayed that probably are going to be AAA heavy hitter games that are going to be bang for your buck? Or i got to take the chance with The Last Guardian that they didn't fuck the game up and that's why they had to delay it another 40 days at the last minute, right? And so it's going to create this kind of uncertainty amongst consumers, honestly. Having a delay like this at the last minute. Same thing with Final Fantasy XV where... You had these, all this stuff planned for its launch, a movie, a, you know, these the online series tie-ins and all this stuff, and then it gets delayed a month and a half, and it's like, now the movie's out and no one cares. Like, anyone who's a fan of Final Fantasy would have seen the movie already, but it's not going to get any kind of, like, extra hype or whatever on the game because the game's not coming out for a long time and people are frustrated about it. So it's kind of the same thing with The Last Guardian here. It's like, yeah, hype, 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 yes, finally, The Last Guardian. Oh, nope. Well, screw it. Fuck it. I'm not waiting anymore. I don't trust these people because obviously they don't know what they're doing. I'm going to go buy this game because it comes out for... I'm, I would almost guarantee some people maybe were, were torn between similar style, uh, you know, Japanese-centric style games like Final Fantasy or Persona 5. I know a lot of people will probably be importing Persona 5 even though it's fully in Japanese. They're that into the, the game series they're going to want. So you got Final Fantasy 15, you got Persona 5, you got The Last Guardian, you got a few... I know there's a few other Japanese games that I didn't mention. I, a few, few people have been telling me about them near the end of the year. I'm not too interested in them, obviously. But now you're like, well, Final Fantasy comes out first. Oh well, I'm getting it, you know, and I don't know, it, it, to me, and again, I'm not a game developer, alright, I'm certainly not a game developer whatsoever, I cannot attest to the problems that these guys have behind the scenes, you know, it could be a tech issue, it could be a, who knows what kind of an issue this could be that just rears its ugly head at the last fucking moment, but I can tell you this, in any job whatsoever, if I had a task to, pr to, to deliver something, alright, around a set time frame, and I failed, and I failed, 
and I failed and I failed and my team was fucking dissolved and then somehow more people were brought back together to continue the project and you're finally gonna come to have this project come to fruition and you know there's people who stuck with this in for 10 years for this game to come out I would be goddamn sure that when I gave you a date when it was coming out that by hook or by crook the game was fucking coming out on that date and they didn't do that they fucked it up again like Wow, I mean, at this point, I'm almost laughing to myself. Because I'm like, is this game going to be one of those games, I hate to say it, you know, a No Man's Sky? A game that on the premise of the game looked gorgeous, right? But we haven't really seen too much gameplay of it. And it sounds great on the surface as a great working formula. But are we going to finally play this game in early December and the game sucks? It's just like, it's too short. Or the game mechanics are just too, too easy or too difficult or just stupid. And is it going to be one of those games that got so much hype over the years that we all got pumped up for it and then we run out and buy it and it ends up sucking? You know? I mean, at this point, I'm so fascinated I have to get it. I don't even care. I have to get it. Because whether the game is great or the game sucks shit, I have to fucking get it because I'm dying. I've been waiting 10 years. I remember that E3. I was watching the E3 and I was like, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> Seriously, like, oh, 10 years of waiting for a game. So... My ultimate thoughts on The Last Guardian being delayed 40 days. Okay, if it really means, if it really, really means that it's going to put final polish on the game and the game's going to be amazing because of this final delay and it's going to end up being the masterpiece that they promised us for years and years and years and we're just going to ignore the fact that it took 10 years for the game to come out and that every other game that had long development like that, a la Duke Nukem or Daikatana or Aliens Colonial Marines are all pieces of shit. We're going to ignore that, okay? And we're just going to say, oh, the game's going to be great, you know, fine. Then delay it to 40 days, delay it 60 days, delay it another fucking 10 years for all I care, as long as the final product is good. But when I hear a game like this in this long of a development gets that last minute delay, that makes me worry. And I almost am getting that vibe that the game is going to be one of those overhyped games that massively disappoint us, a la a No Man's Sky a couple months ago. And that would be a shame, because after so much anticipation, right? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts. In the comments of this video, are you still going to buy it? Um, do you think that this delay will hurt the sales of the game and or the confidence in the game because it is another last minute delay just like Final Fantasy XV did? Um, what do you think about a game 10 years in development in particular that's finally coming out? I mean, is there even a chance that this game could be good? 10 years, you know what I mean? I just want to hear your comments, so please leave a comment on the video. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. When more news hits, I will react. That's it, everyone. Peace out. See you later.